Howdy, Tubal Kane again. I'd like to give you a few uh, resources if you don't already know about these, and I'd like to present this type of thing from time to time. But uh, several good books on the lathe, and uh, the number one, the Bible of running the lathe, is uh, How to Run a Lathe by South Bend Lathe Company. And these are long out of print, but uh, Lindsay Company has reprints of them, and uh, they're quite cheap. They printed millions of these, so they're pretty easy to find on the internet or at garage sales and place like that. Uh, the old widow never has any use for it and out it goes. So this would be the number one to get and then uh, another very good one if you guys got Atlas Lays is this book and it's a uh, spiral bound and rather comprehensive and it was Atlas's attempt to uh, compete with South Bend and they did a nice job. And there's yet a third one, I don't have a copy of it, but it was put out by the Sheldon Lathe Company. I believe it's in the Lindsay catalog. Now look up uh, Lindsay uh, on a Google search and you'll find that if you don't already have their catalog, there are many wonderful publications in there on metalworking. Here's another good one that you might find it's a little hardbound book. I think Lindsay might have this in a in a paperback, the Steric book for student machinists. And uh, several others you're going to find in there uh, in the Lindsay catalog. So check that out. Now one other thing on uh, YouTube. Let me zoom in on this if I can. Do a search for Old South Bend instructional movie. And you will find three great old black and white South Bend movies from the 40s. And uh, it's good stuff. It might move a little slow for you, but it's very good stuff. Today we're going to turn on the lathe and we're going to turn to a diameter using a micrometer. Again, this is one of my basic videos. Now when I start a video like this, I really don't know how long it will be, but uh, most, most likely it will be more than one part, maybe even three parts. I'm having a heck of a time with this high definition camera loading long videos. It just takes forever and usually it fails. That's why I've had so few videos on lately. But you need to grind yourself a right hand turning tool and that will have a radius on the end which will give you a, a nice finish. So that's what we'll do today and we're going to do it on the Atlas lathe. Now the first thing we're going to do is set the uh, spindle speed and the feed for uh, longitudinal feeding. And uh, I'm not going to go into a great detail right now other than I'm going to tell you that we, we're going to run it at uh, a medium speed which is about 1270 RPM. And that's in step three of the V pulleys and then there's another pulley over here and we're off to the left which they call the B position so we're in B three direct drive I'll talk about back gears later on when we need to run it at slow speed so that's already done and you can see we're in that third step here and I don't know if you can see back here but we're in that position that I just mentioned and when you change these belts now, uh, unplug the machine. You can't be safe enough. I know that the switch is pushed back with the cover there, but uh, you don't want your fingers in there. And this, of course, is the lever that loosens the belts. Now let's adjust the quick change gearbox if you have one. All of the numbers up here are uh, in reference to cutting thread. So we're not concerned with anything above my, that my hand is hiding. We're only concerned with the bottom line right now which says carriage feeds. And the very finest feed on here is uh, the farthest one to the right which is uh, 0 .0042 which is just a little over four thousandths feed. Now that means it's four thousandths uh, advancing into the work for every revolution of the spindle and if you were to mic the thickness of those chips and the chip was not distorted it would be about four thousandths thick so that calls for the uh, left hand tumbler being in the uh, there it says E in the E position maybe I can zoom in a little more on that 
and then uh, the other tumbler needs to be uh, in number nine so it's E9 now when you change those uh, tumblers and it, you have trouble engaging the gears if you uh, twist the lead screw a little bit with your hand that'll help the right hand one go in the left hand one uh, will go in if you turn the spindle a little bit just rotate the spindle and you get that to go in don't force the gears now up above that we've got the feed change lever and that needs to be in the down position and that will allow it to feed from right to left now we advance the longitudinal feed on the atlas lathe with this lever and it's really a half nut lever on here it is not uh, a clutch so it's a positive a feed I don't crash a lathe or you'll strip something but when we turn the spindle on and engage the half nut lever you'll see that the uh, carriage is now feeding at the rate of 4,000 per revolution of the spindle this is a quiz right now it's just going to be a 10 second quiz so prepare to pause your video have your uh, mouse ready and prepare to pause your video uh, there are four things wrong with this setup now I'm just about ready to start cutting but there I uh, I did four things incorrectly here and see if you can spot what they are and I'll pause the video now and then I'll give you the answers okay here's the answers uh, number one we left the chuck key in there that's a no-no uh, as we get ready to cut now never leave your tool post wrench in that position because it can strike the chuck jaws that should be around uh, the other way or take it off altogether and uh, we have way too much compound sticking out here it will lack rigidity and also this is very vulnerable now and in the high school those always got chewed up because they hit the chucks uh, chuck jaws and then the fourth thing that's wrong since we're between centers here we have way too much quill out and that would lack rigidity hope you got all four of those right just about ready to start our cut here and I'm going to cut this is aluminum and we're going to turn what you see in red here I put some red dye on there I have an undercut there so we don't have to deal with shoulders in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to turn to a shoulder uh, in the next video uh, that's why the undercut is there now we're going to cut this down to a certain diameter or turn it down to a certain diameter another thing you need to watch now is that your compound uh, rest here is not going to strike the chuck at the uh, when you uh, get to the extremity of your cut like right there and so you ought to always run it uh, into that position and rotate your chuck jaws just by hand to make sure that everything is uh, is going to clear and you're not going to damage the machine in the high school every one of the compounds is chewed up here beyond belief uh, from striking the uh, the jaws